And on that issue of breaking news, uh, incredibly significant in the business and media world, Rupert Murdoch is changing his role as chair of the Fox Corporation and executive chairman of News Corp that he's just announced this today. Uh, let's get more details on this. Peter Cargwell is our political editor. Uh, Peter, tell us more. Well, this has just broken. This news has broken that Rupert Murdoch, who has made a life in newspapers, in media, in print and broadcast, he's 92 years old and he says for his entire professional life he ha I have been engaged, in da engaged daily with news and ideas. That will not change because he's transitioning now to Chairman Emeritus of Fox Corp and News Corp. He is, of course, Executive Chairman of News Corp he will be until November when his son, Lachlan Murdoch, who's the co-chairman of the company, will take over. We should say, of course, that Talk TV is owned by, uh, the, by News Corp, the parent company of News UK, which owns our company. Uh, for my entire professional life, Rupert Murdoch says, I have been engaged daily with news and ideas. That will not change. But the time is right for me to take on different roles, knowing that we have, been, we have truly talented teams and a passionate principal leader in Lachlan who will become sole chairman of both companies. Neither excessive pride nor false humility are admirable qualities, but I'm truly proud of what we have achieved collectively through the decades, and I owe much to my colleagues whose contributions to our success have sometimes been unseen outside the company, uh, but are deeply appreciated to me. And what's interesting is he focuses on perhaps some of the forgotten people in the media empire, the global media empire that he created in his lifetime. He says, uh, let me just read out this last bit here, when the truck driver, whether the truck drivers distributing our papers, the cleaners who toil when we have left the office, the assistants who support us are the skilled operators behind the camera or the computer code, we would be less successful and have less positive impact on society with, without your day-to-day -day dedication. Our companies are in robust health, as am I. Our opportunities far exceed our commercial challenges, Mr Murdoch says. We have every reason to be optimistic about the coming years. I certainly am and plan to be here to participate in them. He also talks a little bit about uh, it guarantees that he says every day I will be involved in the contest of ideas. He believes in free speech. We're the home of free speech and he's made that very clear in this uh, important statement transitioning to the new role of Chairman Emeritus of News Corp and Fox Corp. And let me just bring you what Lachlan Murdoch has said, the son of Rupert Murdoch, congratulating his father on the legacy he's left at his enormous influential companies. He says this, on behalf of the Fox and News Corp board of directors, leadership teams and all the shareholders who've benefited from his hard work, I congratulate my father on his remarkable 70-year career, he said. We thank him for his vision, his pioneering spirit, his steadfast determination and the enduring legacy that he leaves to the companies he founded and countless people he has impacted. We are grateful that he will serve as Chairman Emeritus and know he will continue to provide valued counsel to both companies. Look, it is a, a national sport, uh, not just in this country, in the world, to have a pop at the media yeah. these days, whoever it happens to be, the BBC, whether it's something owned by Rupert Murdoch, whatever. But nobody, by any measure, and I know it's always tricky when you say this and it's the company you currently work for, mm. but I've said this tirelessly when I've worked elsewhere as well, I've done TV debates on this stuff, you cannot overstate the impact that Rupert Murdoch has had on journalism. And I think one could reasonably construct an argument to say the most influential yes. figure in yes. global journalism yes. that we have experienced. And there will be people who say, I'm not a supporter of some of what Murdoch was all about. There'll be people who don't like certain newspaper titles, whether it's here, Australia, the United States, whatever. There'll be some people who have the very opposite view to all of that. And Rupert Murdoch will be absolutely open to all of that. But nobody could deny the impact, oh, the huge, global huge impact, impact, the amount of people employed mm -hmm. as well, investigative journalism. I think this is what people forget when they want to have a pop at the tabloids or anything else, regardless of who owns it. Investigative journalism took a whole new turn under this man's ownership, mm -hmm. globally speaking. Well, look, in the last few days, the investigative journalism from the Sunday Times and the Times, that wouldn't happen unless they had the backing of their editors and the proprietor. I should say that Murdoch went on to say that the battle of the free freedom of speech and freedom of thought had never been more intense. Totally agree with that one. Yep. And he says his family remained firmly committed to that cause. He criticises both contemptuous elites and the media in cahoots with them for pushing narratives rather than seeking the truth. Just exactly what we were talking about there. Um, he says, I'll say this again, 
again in my new role, I can guarantee you I will be involved every day in the contest of ideas. And Lachlan Murdoch, as you say, announcing that congratulatory uh, missive on his father, the legacies left, uh, enormously influential companies. And uh, I know you've read that out as well. So um, it, it's worth as well just thinking about the vastness of the Murdoch empire as well. The Fox News Channel launched in 1996 under News Corps, a leader in 24-hour news coverage in America, celebrating its 25th anniversary. And, and also the fact that, you know, Rupert Murdoch, executive chairman of uh, 20th Century Fox uh, from 2015 until March 2019, sold that to, uh, there was a merger of 20th, 21st Century Fox and Walt Disney Company. He was CEO of 21st Century Fox until 2015. I mean, this is a remarkable man who, from mm. his mid twenties, he took control of News Limited, which was a public corporation in and that Australia. That was his father, rather. That's than right, Sir Keith so Murdoch. This yeah. is kind of history repeating itself here. So he yeah. was in his mid twenties. I know it's unbelievable. In 1954, when he when he took over running News Limited, which was the public corporation, as you say, from in Australia. That's right. And his father, Sir Keith Murdoch. And actually, sometimes in this building, you hear people talking about either Mr. Murdoch or sometimes KRM, Keith Rupert Murdoch, which is his name, uh, named after his father. And he bought and founded uh, Australian newspapers. This is a big article on the Fox News website that's really announcing all this. has been announced as well to the New York Stock Exchange. Obviously, it'll have an effect there as well. Such a vast company. Uh, internationally, after his Australian success, looking to the news of the world, the sun in 1969, uh, US publications including the New York Post, a huge tabloid in, in America and the Village Voice and uh, he took ownership of 20th Century Fox in 1985 so there's, there's so much to think about in his career and it's not over yet. Yeah, and just to reiterate that news, Rupert Murdoch is changing his role as chair of Fox Corps and executive chair of News Corps. He's uh, stepping back, but his son, is he, he remains uh, in a, 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 another position as well. I mean, he's not going anywhere, he's not leaving, he's not departing. Uh, but Lachlan, his son, will be taking over those chair roles uh, as his father moves to a different position at 92. I think most people would say, wow, why didn't you go and lay in a hammock 20 years, 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. You've earned a few quid, Mr Murdoch, but I think that is part and parcel of this story. Well, and anyone, he didn't. Yeah, he carried on. Absolutely. He and carried on building. Anyone in this building who, who has dealt with uh, Mr Murdoch at various times will tell you his boundless energy putting men and women half his age, less than half his age, to shame, and still he remains completely engaged, and as he says, he's just transitioning to this new role, Chairman Emeritus of Fox Corps and News Corps. And let me give you the statement that he wrote himself on this. He says, I'm writing to let you all know that I've decided to transition to the role of Chairman Emeritus at Fox News and News. Murdoch wrote, Mr Murdoch wrote, for my entire professional life, I've been engaged daily with news and ideas that will, that will not change, but the time is right for me to take on different roles, knowing that we have truly talented teams and a passionate principal leader in Lachlan who will become sole chairman of both companies. Neither excessive pride nor false humility are admirable qualities, but I am truly proud of what we have achieved collectively through the decades, and I owe much to my colleagues whose contributions to our success have sometimes been unseen outside the company, but are deeply appreciated by me. And uh, Lachlan Murdoch, who is the new chairman, or will be the new chairman from November of News Corps, taking over from his father. He's already the co-chairman, so he's being promoted to that role, just as his father is being promoted to the role of chairman emeritus. Lachlan Murdoch has released a statement congratulating his father and the legacy he's left at his enormously influential companies. On behalf of the Fox and News Corps boards of directors, leadership teams, and all the shareholders who have benefited from his hard work, I congratulate my father on his remarkable 70-year career, said Lachlan Murdoch. We thank him for his vision, his pioneering spirit, his steadfast determination and the enduring legacy he leaves to the companies he founded, the countless people he has impacted. We are grateful that he will serve as Chairman Emeritus and know he will continue to provide valued counsel to both companies. And the companies he's referring to there, of course, are Fox Corp and News Corp. But of course, there are many companies within those corporations as well, including yep. our own here in the UK, News UK, uh, which owns Talk TV. So uh, from, from the top to the bottom, Rupert Murdoch will still be involved in all that goes on in his global empire. Indeed, and there it is, that breaking news again, Rupert Murdoch changing his role as chair of Fox Corps and executive chair of News Corps, moving and transitioning to a new role of chairman emeritus at Fox and News, and his son Lachlan will be taking over the role previously occupied by his father. That's just broke in the last 20 minutes. This is Talk TV.